So for this reaction, we need acetanolide, ammonium silicon nitrite, we need potassium bromide, and as a solvent, we need ethanol. First of all, we weight one gram of acetanolide. Then is placed in on early mirror or a flask. Then 15 ml of ethanol. So we heated a little bit the solution until complete dissolution of the acetanolide. As you can see, here acetanolide is completely dissolved in ethanol. So in aspirate beaker, in aspirate beaker, we weight one gram of potassium, potassium bromide, and six gram of ammonium silic nitrite and we add 15 ml 15 ml of water and 15 ml of water so i have here six gram i have here six gram of ammonium uh, silic nitrite i have here one gram of potassium bromide and i have here 15 ml of water then i will start add in to, to the baker potassium bromide ammonium silicon nitrite okay. all here together then 15 ml of water Then I check the mixture until complete desolation. Then we start at then dropwise desolation to the acetanolide drop by drop. A precipitate is forming by chicken solution. You can see a precipitate is forming. The reaction is immediate. Until the addition of all the, the solution. Okay, then we start checking, the color will disappear, okay, so we have here precipitate, a beautiful precipitate, you can see on the border of the, you can see on the border of the flask, a beautiful precipitate, this is the final product is formed. So instead of chicken, we can use a magnetic stirrer bar, then we can stir the reaction. But as the reaction is quickly, we can just check the reaction 
Give me a second. After that, we can keep the reaction. Stirring during 10 minutes maximum. For this, we use the magnetic stirring bar. Okay, we use magnetic stirring bar. Then we will keep the reaction uh, on the stirring during maximum 10 minutes. So after finishing the reaction, 10 minutes is finished. Then cold uh, water is added. 50 ml of cold water is added to the reaction. So the solid is filtered throughout the Buchner flask. You have here the solid precipitate formed during the reaction. Then we add it here. The liquid is going down and the solid up. Solid here, you can see beautiful solid is there. I will wash this element here again by cold water because we still have here some amount okay we still have here our solid beautiful solid colorless product so excellent product so I wash it again by water to be sure okay I will take out the, the magnetic sterile bar. Okay, so our product is here. I will keep it few seconds to dry. Okay, so here our solid, see beautiful solid. I will keep it a few minutes to dry under vacuum. Okay, as you can see here, beautiful solid is formed. I will uh, keep it more time to dry under vacuum. Then I will calculate uh, the weight of the solid, the, the solid formed. Okay, so excellent product. So here we will come here. Now to see the the solid. See here a lot of product, a lot. Okay, fantastic. So we have here a beautiful solid. So excellent product. As I think now, the solid is dry. A powder. So next step, I will wait the solid. Then I will send you uh, the mass in order to calculate the yield of the reaction. So here we have a beautiful solid, beautiful powder. Excellent powder. Okay. I will keep it just two seconds more to dry few second is practically powder but I think it need some time to dry then the next step I will wait the solid then I will send you the mass of the product in order to calculate the yield and to put the result and the report